I'm Ann Weller. I am the co-chair of UN CLESA this year, um, and I'm really excited about what we're doing, um, how the organization is changing, and where we will be going, not only this year, but moving forward. Well, my favorite thing in Nairobi is, frankly, the people. The people here are not only the friendliest people probably in the world, but also the most diverse people. So um, we are new to the UN system. We are new to Africa. We are new to Kenya. So everything is new to me, and I love learning from everyone that's here. If you haven't heard about UN CLESA before, you will certainly hear about UN CLESA this year and moving forward. Um, UN CLESA has taken some big initiatives and some big steps, not only with the people that we've got on the board this year, but the membership as well is expanding. We are expanding into different agencies, working on um, really developing our orientation services to not just be for the UNON secretariat, but for everyone here in Nairobi. I think the way I will be most utilized this year is to help the organization take some of these dreams from the cloud and implement some strategies and procedures tactically to bring them to the ground so that we're all able to um, have our roles and responsibilities utilized most effectively. I'm Morgan Bonilla. I am the communications and outreach coordinating board member for you, Clesa, between 18 to 2019. Um, and I'd like to welcome you here to UN Clesa. So the communications and outreach group, um, some of our main responsibilities are we run the Facebook group for UN Clesa. We also do the maintenance and upgrading of our websites, uh, which we actually just relaunched the website to be uh, more dynamic and uh, fluid and be able to have a members only portal so that we can put resources up for our, me our members like presentations from our coffee mornings, uh, UN guides, uh, our welcome packet so that you can find all that information without having to re-email us or try and search through your email and be like I know I got that at some point within the last two years now where's that email so now it's all centrally located we're also looking to be able to put up more videos and mini trainings and all of that kind of thing that we weren't able to do before but now are uh, we are also now have a online form for member registration and renewals uh, which will greatly facilitate uh, information gathering and let us have a better database of our members going forward. Well, welcome to UNCLESA. Uh, my name is Njokin Joroge and I am the office manager at the UNCLESA office. And I volunteer here with uh, the rest of the board and I come in every morning and I'm here 9 to 1. I'm here for all the office hours, which is 9 to 1, every weekday. Um, I'm Kenyan. I was born and raised in Nairobi, so I love Nairobi. <laughs> um, there's so much to do in Nairobi. Depending on what you're interested in, is just so much to, to choose from. You just need to take your time and sort through all the information. And this is some of the information that we give our new members. So once you register with us, you receive our welcome pack and it gives you all these different options to go on our website, our Facebook page to find out what's going on. So you can identify what your interests are and then you can go from there, yeah. I'm Fabian Lützig. I'm the Training and Working Group Coordinator for UNCLESA this coming year. And um, so for my professional background, I used to be a management consultant. Now I am a leadership development coach and a trainer. So uh, this is right in my wheelhouse and I love applying my skills in order to you know, help UNCLESA's members develop themselves and, and develop a proactive, approach, uh, sort of a sense of ownership towards their own development. So I'm really excited to be a part of the new board um, and I'm obviously grateful to everybody who, who voted uh, for me and made that possible. Um, so the activities that are planned for the training development group, they fit right in with the new blueprint and that is something that will take UNCLESA to a whole new level. It will help the organization become more mature as an organization. It will help the organization become more independent of the people that are on the board. Um, and so we are looking forward to, to building assets. So for example, at the beginning of December, we're having a webinar focused on modern learning. So how can people redefine learning for themselves? Does it have to be in the classroom? Does it have to be two hours or can it be two minutes um, going online, uh, looking at a Linda video, for example, then applying the skills right away, learning by doing, 
just really learning what it is that you need to do. Um, and having that as a webinar allows us to record it and allows us to, to save it for future generations, for future years, and to, to have an asset to, to hand down and, and to really have what we do built on what came before. Um, so that all the effort, all the work uh, continues on and persists and allows people to, to do even more in the future. And that's just an example of how the blueprint will work in the future. So um, everything that we do is supposed to be sustainable and is supposed to, to go forward. And um, in that way, um, it will become easier and easier for families that come in, for spouses that come in to to, to get even more skills and, and to get more of an orientation of what is it that they want to do, what is it that's important to them, what is it that they're good at, right? What is it that they have to offer um, so that they can market themselves in a way and they can honestly lead a fulfilled life? Well, my name is David Desse. Originally, I'm from Ethiopia. I grew up in the US most of my time and I'm recently married. And as a result of that, I moved from uh, North Carolina to Nairobi, Kenya, and I'm excited to be here. So. One of the things that gets me excited, just not only Nairobi, but East Africa, is there is this uh, movement that's happening in the last few years. In terms of development, you have lots of businesses that are happening. Uh, the GDP, both for Kenya, Ethiopia, and nearby places, are growing. And in in terms of trajectory, I see in the next 10 years, East Africa is going to be one of the leading places in the world. And I'm excited to be part of that journey. So growing an organization means meeting the needs of the members. And in our recent survey that we did, we found that 70% of our members are looking for family-oriented activities and building a community while they live in Nairobi. 30% of our members are actually trying to uh, <clears throat> find work and be reintegrated in the workforce. So being able to meet the needs of our members is our primary goal. And for me, one thing I'm excited about is the new board that we have in the short time that, that we've been around. We've been registering multiple successes and building a momentum. And, and I'm, I'm really excited that the best years are ahead for, for you and Klesa. Morning, this is Gohar Ayub from uh, Pakistan, northern part of Pakistan. So I'm uh, here in Nairobi since two years. So I'm a board member and uh, newly elected as a board coordinator for family and peer support in UN Klesa. Uh, I have been in Africa uh, twice, first in West Africa and the second time in East Africa. So Nairobi is a beautiful place and especially for the weather and uh, there is a lot of things to see. Yeah, mountains, lakes, so beautiful place, evergreen. Uh, there is a lot of activities. Uh, we uh, especially involve our uh, UN Kalisa members and spouses to um, involve in activities and uh, we are doing um, uh, coffee mornings, social coffee mornings and go uh, out to see places together and there is a lot of activities but a uh, lot of things to do but I'm newly elected as a family and peer support so especially in this uh, 2018-19, the board members are very uh, uh, dynamic team. I can see I'm excited to working with them. Let us see. Um, my name is Chanda Gingsberg and I am the secretary of Anklesa. I was just elected to the new board. So I'm really excited about the many projects that UNCLESA has, you know, for our members as well. We have so many activities in terms of training and development, you know, something that has come up, something that is new, that gives us an opportunity to kind of like, you know, get new skills and uh, get the, you know, visibility as members that we need. And also, I'm really excited about all 
for you know the different activities the networking and that we have going on and more like family uh, activities just to get all our members engaged into you know the many activities so I'm looking forward to the new year I think it's a very exciting time and to see us growing our members and uh, having everybody involved in what Don Klesa does so it's, it's an exciting year coming up yeah. But you and Kleza has helped me to try to speak, build my confidence. And I think for those who stay back at home, I think these are opportunities that they miss, miss out. Because when you come in, you get to find out who you are, and then you're able to express yourself. And then besides that, uh, it gives you opportunity to meet so many people, like I was sharing some days back. I've met so many people from diverse cultures. And you know, initially I was getting all upset why people behave that way. But I've come to realize that's the way they are. That's their culture. And I've learned to accept people the way they are. But if you stay back, you don't get to know people. And it's very easy for you to get worked up when people behave the, the way they do. So it's giving me opportunity to mingle with friends, know people, and be able to express myself.